Hi Tarot friends, it's Jade here with Tarot Your Truth and I'm back with another um, unboxing, initial impressions video. Um, well, I say unboxing, but I've clearly taken the plastic wrap off um, and taken it out of the package just uh, to help save a little bit of time. But uh, today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Ethereal Visions Tarot Deck by Matt Hughes. And let's see what it says here. Ethereal visions. And it looks like this is a US games deck. So I have, uh, I've been looking at this for quite some time. This, uh, this deck for, for this deck, Matt Hughes, the creator has drawn inspiration from the Art Nouveau movement adopting its distinctive style and meticulous approach to craftsmanship. Part of the reason why I have taken a while um, to decide to get this deck is because Art Nouveau is not necessarily my uh, style of art. However, I have the Tarot Muha and I absolutely adore it. So I thought I would give this a try and then I've, you know, reading some... Uh, some reviews and listening to some podcasts talk about this, I thought I would give this a try. I felt like it is something that I could get along well with. Um, so the little white book does have a little white book and yeah, it's all in English. So there are apparently 80 cards in this, in this deck, which are, so there's 24 major arcanas uh, in addition to the two the two that are always there. All right, so each um, each card you have, well, there's about just over half a page there. Just about half a page, at least for the majors. Let's have a look at the minors. So you're getting a lot less on the minors. Uh, it is more just keywords, which I'm not a big fan of, but I guess it gets its, I guess it, it, it gets the point across. Uh, however, and, and I am guessing that if this is in the RWS style, I'm not sure it actually says that anywhere, but I suppose if it's in the RWS style, then, um, then you could use really any RWS based, um, a book or or uh, RWS based uh, meanings. I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. Sorry. Um, to help you on your way. All right. So let's take a look at the cards. By the way, the uh, tech box <coughs> does have the thumb, the place for your thumb here which I appreciate because it helps. It makes it a lot easier to get the cards out. And so here's the backs. So it almost looks like a face, two eyes and nose, and then a mouth. <laughs> I really, it really irritates me that the US Games um, logo is on both sides there. The cardstock is pretty thick. I don't mind it at all. And let's take a look at the cards. Here's the fool. Now, is this going to... I'm wondering if I should just put them flat on the ground or flat on the table, I mean, sorry. Okay, well, let's start with this. Um, so here's the full. So part of what I really like here is that, there you go, you can see that, I think. The gilding. I think that's really cool. I don't know that there's many other decks that uh, that do that. Um, so the cards themselves are not shiny. Uh, not very much anyways. I think they're fairly matte, except for that gold gilding, which is pretty cool. The 
the magician. The High Priestess, that's the uh, cover art. The Empress. The Emperor. I am going to see if I can adjust this a bit. I just feel like you can't see it completely. Is that better? Maybe that's a bit better. The higher event. Almost looks like the same person. The lovers. The chariot. Strength at number eight. The Hermit. Oh, interesting. A little skull there. The Wheel of Fortune, that's quite a different, a different version, isn't it? Justice. The Hanged Man. Oh, interesting. So he's actually holding himself up. He can let himself down at any time by just letting go of this uh, of this rope. Interesting. Death. Temperance. The devil. Interesting. Tower. Interesting. He's wearing a mask. Now, what does the book say about that? Just curious. So, the tower says the tower shows up when you are living in an illusion. I guess, hence the mask. You must remove the mask and expose the truth of the situation in order to change it. Change is difficult. You will be shaken, the familiar broken down and removed from your comfort zone. The tower reminds you to let go and let the ego fall, the ego fall away. Not the ego. <laughs> Upheaval, change, awakening, shock, denial, avoidance, fear, and reluctance. Interesting. Okay. I think that's the first card that I've seen where... Um, that people falling are wearing masks. It's an interesting interpretation. The star, I love that. Gorgeous. The moon, also beautiful. The sun, ah, oh, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna move these before they fall off. Judgment. The world. Okay, so this is the first new card called The Well. Let's see what that one is about. All right, The Well is the birthplace of ideas, inspiration, and transformation. All things are birthed from this creatrix, and knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. Nurturing opportunity, nature, and creativity. And on the shadow side, destruction, endings, cold, and stagnant. Interesting. Looks like she's a pendulum there. Okay, and the artist. This one says, um, The artist is the vessel of creation. This card signifies mankind and shows when you need to open to the knowledge that is available if you stop and set aside the distractions of the human condition and listen. 
visionary interpreter, create, creation, and passionate. On the shadow side, unstable, judgmental, restless, and greedy. Interesting. I'm not sure that we really needed a separate card for this, but... Um, and he also looks a little bit like Hermes with the wings on his feet. Okay, so the cup suit. So we've got we start with the kings here, I guess. The king of cups. I love the muted color palette in this deck. The um Teramuha is similar in that it has a um that it has a muted color palette as well. I just, I don't know what it is. I just find it provides so, so much to the, uh, to the feeling page. And then we go with the ace. The two. Three. Four, five, six. Oh, so sweet. Seven again with the masks. Eight. He maybe has a very long journey ahead. Nine, the innkeeper. And ten. With the baby. Lovely. Okay, I'm just going to move these ones out of the way. And start with the king of coins. The queen. The night. So it is interesting. I'd love to hear what other people's thoughts. But um, these are really me meant to be coins, right? Someone decided at some point to. I uh, can't remember if it was uh, uh, Arth Arthur. Uh, Edward Waite or Atea or someone um, out of the Golden Dawn, they decided to turn the coin suit into, or they decided to add a pentacle into those coins or a star into those coins and then call the suit pentacles. But this isn't really, this doesn't really have anything to do with witchcraft, right? It's, it is supposed to be coins. And so that's how I'm seeing them and I'm trying to refer to them as coins regardless of what the card itself says. And there's the 10. All right, we'll move to the swords. Ooh, he looks, he looks stern, determined. The queen. That is a gorgeous queen, I have to say. She definitely looks a lot more gentle than the queen of the RWS uh, on the Pixies artwork. I find it interesting that both the king and the queen have birds on their shoulders. Page. Not really looking where she's going. I'm just going to trip on her sword. The ace. The two. Love that. The three. The four. Interesting. He's sort of... It's like we're looking at him through through a mirror or through a glass. Five. 
smirky guy. The six. The seven. Sneaky. The eight. The nine. These are some pretty good nightmares there. The ten. Fairly standard. All right, so that's the swords. The King of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Gorgeous. The Knight of Wands with his war horse. The Page of Wands. Then we go to the Aces, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I am really, I, wow, I'm really loving this. I, you know, when I first saw this deck, I had no interest in it. Um, not only because I didn't think that Art Nouveau was really my style, but I gotta, I have to say that this, this image here, I'm not sure why, but it totally turned me off. Um, yeah, it just totally turned me off. I don't know what it is, but, um, so I am very, very, very pleasantly surprised. Six of Wands, Victory, Ego, Seven of Wands, he's got the higher ground at least. I could see this deck becoming a fast favorite. I really, I'm really enjoying this, this deck. This is obviously a first impression, we'll see how it reads, but I am really pleasantly surprised. All right, let's see how it shuffles. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way here. Make a little bit of room. I don't think I'm going to be able to riffle shuffle this. I don't normally riffle shuffle my decks. Uh, I do like to just see how it works though. I think these are pretty, these are, these cards are pretty thick. All right. Not bad, not bad, not great, but I think I'm going to stick with the overhand shuffling. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the overhand shuffling, probably this way, just because um, my hands are fairly small and I find it really hard to try to shuffle it the other way. Very awkward. And doing it lengthwise. Uh, it took a little bit of practice because they kept, you know, when they hold them this way, they can sometimes go flying. But um, I think I've gotten, a, I've gotten the hang of, of course, not while I'm doing it on camera. I've kind of gotten the hang of how much pressure to hold them with down here so they don't go, so they don't go flying everywhere. But uh, yeah, so there is the Ethereal Visions. Um, this is a huge, this is a big surprise for me. It was a, this was a, yeah, this is the image I did not like. I don't find it, um, yeah, I just, I'm just not a big fan. Not a big fan. 
have to think more about why that is, but love the temperance card. Even the death card. Gorgeous. I love their take on the hangman. Justice is a bit creepy. Both uh, she and focus. Focus. There we go. Both uh, she and the owl have no pupils. Or no irises, I guess. They're all pupil. No. She has white eyes, so... She's got nothing. Anyway, I, I'm really pleasantly surprised. Uh, let me know if you have this deck. I would love to hear. And um, how does it read for you? Do you... Um, have the tarot muha as well and how do they compare to you uh, compare for you i'm gonna have to um, work with them both this coming month i think and uh, see if i can compare anyway i would love to hear from you um, i hope you like these videos if you do please do hit that like and subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and um, i look forward to continuing the conversation with you guys about uh, this deck and others and and tarot reading in general so until next time, my friends, tell your truth.